just what the world needs. An estate car, or as readers of Country Life will know it, a shooting break with the performance of a Lamborghini. This is the Audi RS6, an estate capable of hurling a quartet of business types or an antique sideboard to 62 in under four seconds and keep going all the way to 155 miles an hour. In fact, some versions of it will do very nearly 190. The performance is particularly brutal, especially the acceleration. So if your idea of fun is a car with the character of a nightclub bouncer with a degree in classics, then you'll probably love this. Externally, the car has been given various bulges and tweaks as a nod to its 4-litre twin-turbo V8 engine's enormous grunt. The thing has 700 newton metres of torque, which makes it rather like a very fast tractor. Of course, there's nothing tractor-like about the car itself, and in fact, the four-wheel drive system is designed to help it hurl itself round corners at unfeasible speeds rather than yank horse boxes across muddy fields. The RS6 is genuinely practical, with between 565 and 1680 litres of luggage space. Although we didn't dare try out the rather lovely suede leather interiors resistance to dog hairs. The interior is achingly tasteful in a sort of Bauhaus meets Captain Scarlet kind of way, with lots of tasteful materials and real carbon fibre. Of course, this car is a seriously sophisticated piece of engineering. It's lighter than the old one, is claimed to return almost 29 miles a gallon, although we got rather less, but CO2 emissions are down by about a third, from 333 to 229 grams of CO2 per kilometre. It will even shut down half the engine's eight cylinders when they aren't needed. Audi is keen that this beast of a car isn't seen as kicking sand in the environment's face. The RS6's suspension can be tweaked to go from a gimlet-eyed dynamic setting, which also does sporting things to the ride firmness, steering and the way the slick eight-speed automatic and engine responds, to a comfort setting which relaxes things a bit. The steering is very agile, but this is a big, heavy, broad car and it's shot on tyres which look rather like slabs of beef, so it's perhaps not surprising that the thing isn't especially tactile. So this is a supercar disguised as a station wagon, which explains why buying one will leave you with 15 quid's change from 77 grand. Dip into the options list and it could cost six figures, but you could, if your pockets were deep enough, use it every day. Now, of course, this is the point in the video where I should look at the camera, laugh, and then make the car go very fast. So, um, here goes. Titter. Will that do?